Hey there, welcome back to the Weekly Word Outdoor Adventures. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're on Buck Bald, just east of Coker Creek, Tennessee. And it's a short trip up here, up a little mountain road, gravel and kind of rough, but it's a beautiful, beautiful panoramic view up here. The wind is really howling up here today. You can probably pick that up in the camera, but uh, it feels kind of nice on a 90 degree day. Probably not quite that hot up here on the bald, but it is down on the, in the flatland today. I'm gonna show you some of the panoramic view up here. And if we look off over this direction, we're looking down toward Parksville Lake. And way off in the distance, the farthest thing you can see in the horizon right through the gap of another mountain there, that's the tip of the sugar loaf. That little mountain that drops right off in the south end of Parksville Lake. Uh, and we'll just walk on around here and I'll point out some of the things, I guess. Off over here is Benton Mountain with the Oswald Dome and the flashing tower up on top of it where so many of the radio repeaters are. And if we come on around that gap, right off to the right of it is where the Hiawassee comes through the mountains. And then the long, long ridge running over here to the west in the, on the horizon, that Stars Mountain. This one up close in front of it's got a flat top on it and looks like a kind of like a volcano. That's a Black Mountain over here in Coker Creek. I'll just walk on a little bit around here and that's looking northward, see up toward across up toward uh, Knoxville, I guess. This would be a little bit north and uh, north and east. That mountain right there is Unicoi Mountain. Running right up that mountain across the top of it, or a little over on this right hand side, actually is the t state line between Tennessee and North Carolina, dropping off the Unicoi Gap down here. And if we come on around just a little bit more, looking off over into North Carolina, and we've about made full circle here. That'd be toward the fields of the woods, over toward the uh, Murphy area and Ducktown, Tennessee area, over in that direction. You say, well, how do you pick all that stuff out? Well, what I like to do, is I've spread my map out here on the picnic table. Got it weighted down with rocks, trying to keep it from blowing away. But if you lay your compass right on top of the map and make sure you got the compass pointing north and line it up with the, there's some little lines on the map, show you got the map pointing north and everything. And if you get all that lined up together, you can sit there in real time and uh, your map's oriented to the land. And if you lose your compass, sometimes you don't know. Map's not a lot of good sometimes without a compass. You don't know which way's which. And I've said a lot of times here lately that we're living in a land today here our nation has lost its moral compass. Sometimes we look at stuff that's going on and they say, well, the nation don't know which way's up and which way's down. It's just a confusing situation. And that's what happens when a nation forgets God and a nation turns its back on God's word. God's word is our moral compass to keep us pointing in the right direction, to keep us cross-oriented and God-oriented. And when we forget about that, we just get lost. We get confused. And the Bible says God's not the author of confusion. If you want to know what truth is, you've got to get God's word in you, keep you oriented in the right direction. Anyhow, study your Bible and enjoy God's good outdoors. And we'll see you next time, Lord willing, on the Weekly Word Outdoor Adventures. So long.